What's up y'all? This video we're going to be talking about a few things you can do in game to practice better and improve at the game more quickly. These tips are going to be a bit more broad and address how you can approach each game rather than specific things you can do in each fight. I reserve those tips for future videos in my guides and tip series. So without further ado, Number 1. Drop warm, not hot. In most games, I would say drop hot for the immediate action, but in Apex, I don't think the looting is good enough for that. Landing in the building of death and fragment, you know what I'm talking about, and dying with a P20 isn't going to help you get better. Even if you survive, it's going to be tough fighting without many heals or ammo left. Doing that, you're going to spend more time in lobbies than in games. You want to drop somewhere close to the hot drops, for example. If you want to fight in capital, drop in the buildings east of capital or at epicenter. And if you want to fight at Octane's Death Gauntlet, land at the buildings to the northeast or at airbase. So you can get a little loot first and then push and get into some fights. That brings me to my next tip. Only loot the necessities. If you spend too much time looting in public matches, you'll miss all the action. We've all had those games where first circle is closing and it's already down to like 4 teams. That's because 5 teams died off drop with P20s in their fists because they didn't have a chance to loot anything, but you're better than that now. What I would suggest is, any gun above an alternator, any armor, enough ammo for at least one squad and some heals. Ideally at least one shield battery. If there's any gun you want to practice specifically, even better. I've personally been working on my triple take shots lately because I'm already confident with ARs and SMGs. Once you feel confident with your loadout, push the nearest gunshots or hot drop and don't be afraid to leave your team if you're playing with randos. Next tip, play for yourself. I know this one may be a bit unpopular, but throwing the game away to try and save your teammate that made a dumb push isn't going to help you get better. I would even suggest playing legends with more solo capabilities like Wraith or Pathfinder over supports like Lifeline or Jibby. You don't have to main them, but they will help improve your overall gameplay. Randoms are a mixed bag, and if you're solo queuing, you don't want to be stuck as Lifeline when they get knocked and instantly leave. Then you're just playing at a disadvantage with a legend with essentially no abilities. The general idea behind this tip is to think about your plays a little bit more. Playing like a solo even when your teammates are alive will lead you to some smarter plays and you'll be less frustrated when they're missing in action during the fight. Tip number 4. Watch streamers. And this really goes for improving at any game, even outside of Apex. I know a lot of people, myself included, rather play the game than watch someone else play it, but if you have some extra time, tune into a streamer. Most of these people have already put in multiples of the time we will ever spend on it and it shows. They know the ins and outs of the game's mechanics and the maps. I remember when Apex was new and learning to block doors while healing from Dizzy. I'm sure I would have figured it out myself at some point, but there's no telling how much time it would have taken me. There are so many techniques that are already out there and there's no point in figuring them out yourself when you can pick them up from a few minutes of just watching. 5th tip, don't watch your stats. This is a tough one for a lot of people, even me, who try to gauge improvement from stats, but they really don't tell the whole story. My kill death and win percentage are both down this season, but I'm confident I'm the best I've ever been. Watching your stats is just going to discourage you from playing after a rough stretch and make the game more frustrating. Watching your stats drop in real time is painful, but it doesn't really mean anything. Try to find other ways to look at your improvement by focusing on specific things to work on, like your movement or positioning. How you die in games will tell a better story of your areas for improvement than how many times that you died in a game. My last tip is a bit of a weird one, but it's very important. Don't always play to win. Now I don't mean that you should actively be throwing games or making dumb plays, but I do mean don't stress out about map rotations or get campy in buildings. You're going to improve the most by engaging as many people as possible. Early and mid game, you should be running around like a wild man trying to get all the smoke. Now, if you get to a top 5 situation, that's when you should really lock in and start planning your rotations. This is going to ensure that when the time comes in ranks, you know how to handle in game situations. This is when you should start worrying about third parties, gatekeeping, high ground, all that. But until then, you should just be trying to fight everyone. 
I usually play most of the early game just chasing shots, and when I get close to the enemy, I'll slow down and think about my approach in the ways I described in my previous video about playing aggressively, but when it's top 5, that's when I'm trying to win. That concludes my guide on the best ways to improve your overall gameplay, aka get good. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, it helps the channel grow, and let me know if there's anything else you want to see a guide on. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Intel We Trust. Thanks again for watching. Peace.